What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, I got a special guest on the channel. It's Massacrator from the Elite Soldiers Clan. He agreed to collab with me for today's video. We will bring you guys some tips to get started in PvP or improve your PvP game. Today we'll go over the basic stuff. We'll go over weapon selection, the gear selection, the best active skills, and the skill tree for PvP. First of all, who the hell is this guy? Massacrator's got over over 8 million fame he's in the top of the leaderboard he's got almost 4,000 wins in pvp he's got like a 5 to 1 kdr and he doesn't have that many losses his stats are pretty sick right now he's number two on the global leaderboard out of his 8 million fame almost 5 million is from pvp alone he does a lot of duels on the monthly leaderboard in duels got over 273,000 fame. I met the guy a couple days ago. It was totally random. I was doing some random duels and I was matched up against this guy. Of course, he totally destroyed me. At the end of the duel, he was in the hub and he invited me to a squad and I was like, what the hell does he want? But it ended up that this guy is super cool. He knew who I was. He says, hey, what's up, YouTuber? How are you doing? So we started chatting. We ended up doing some old tight fist together. And at the end, we start chit chatting. He said, You should do more PvP. You should like practice and get good in PvP and do some PvP videos. Like, I said, Man, I totally suck at PvP. I'm not good. I play a lot of PvE, but PvP is not my thing. So I asked him, like, Would you like to be on my channel? Would you like to help me uh, get some tips to get started? How can I get better? and help my viewers get better at PvP and he agreed so he sent me a bunch of videos and I did an interview with him I started asking him some questions that he agreed to answer so today will be basic beginner stuff and hopefully in the near future he'll be back with more advanced tips so let's jump right in this is what I was using for PvP I was using Project Embra instead of Nico because I heard a lot of people say Project Embra is very good for PvP it's got more damage per bullet so I wanted to try that I was using my crit shoulders instead of the loot I was using my 6% damage with assault rifle gloves the chest just because it's the swag and it goes with the whole set then crit pants and crit boots as always all right so Massacrator agreed to answer all my questions to prepare this beginner guide for you guys so I asked him what do you think is better for duels ARs or SMGs because I hear a lot of people say SMGs are the bomb in PvP he automatically answered definitely AR so I said why is that he said because of the range auto rifles have a longer range than SMGs so in some situations you will have an immediate advantage just because you have a longer range if you know you're fighting a shotgun opponent or SMG opponent you can keep your distance and have an advantage just because of that. Second question, I asked him, you think it's better like higher damage but a bit of a lower fire rate or a lower damage but high fire rate? And he said definitely high fire rate. I said why? The answer was we deal the opponent's head injuries faster. What I understand from that is if you have high fire rate, your opponents will be moving a lot more in PvP than compared to the PvP situations. If you try to go for headshots but your opponent is moving a lot, if you have a low fire rate, uh, there's a higher chance that your bullet will miss. But if you have a high fire rate and you aim for the head, there's a higher chance that the bullets will hit the head because there's more bullets at the same time. So it seemed to be a good enough reason to choose high fire rate when you choose your weapon. So if I compare Nico to Ambra, Nico has a faster fire rate. So I said, because of that, uh, Nico is better than Ambra. And he says, yes, because he's got higher fire rate, but he's got more bullets in the magazine. And I never really paid attention to magazine size when I choose my weapons. It's just one number that's out there. I know it was annoying for me to play with Ambra because of that, but the good PvP players, they put a lot of value in magazine size. And you will understand when you come face to face with someone and you both start shooting each other, if you run out of ammo first, you might lose a kill because of that. If you're that close to finishing your opponent, but you cannot finish because you have to reload, that is pretty bad. So I know you guys don't have all the legendaries, but it's not all about legendaries in this game. There's a lot of very good epic auto rifles in the game. One thing that I really like here is the Nordic Guard. It's got 33 bullets in the magazine 
and he's got 470 as fire rate it's very accurate this is a very very good ar by the way another popular choice is the fire fist ar i see a lot of good players use that it's got 420 on the fire rate and 34 in the magazine so it's another great choice so again when you choose your weapon two things you should look for magazine size fire rate next up i went for the armor first question i asked what perk are you looking for on your armor and the first thing he said was health aka hp in 1v1 situations if both players have the same skill level and the same weapon of course if one of them has more hp it should have a little bit of an advantage it gives you an edge to survive and be able to take more bullets so I was wrong about a lot of things. First of all, going out with Embra instead of Nico was a bad choice. But most of all, going out with Basilisk chest in PvP was a very bad decision. It's got 7% health. It can get a lot better than that. You guys should look for your highest possible health chest. Look for 20 or up. Next up, I said, what about the gloves? What are you looking for on your glove? He said, first choice would be 8% damage with assault rifles. If you don't have that, you should go with crit damage. So I was wrong using these gloves. I have 6% here, but these gloves were sitting there in my inventory with 8% damage with assault rifles. So I should have used these gloves instead. Now for the pants, I asked him, do you prefer crit damage or extra magazine size? The answer was pretty simple. He said, if your weapon already have high magazine cap, go for crit damage. If your weapon has a low magazine size, go for extra ammo. Now we'll go over the skills and the skill tree. Massacrator said the best skills for duels are deflector skin and grenades. I know some players use stunner, but deflector skin kind of counters stunners anyways, and grenades seem to be very good if you know how to use them. Now there are two skill trees that are very popular in PvP, the 1233 or the 963. So here I got 933 with three points available. I can put these three points in combat or agility. You will have to decide how you want to build. I'll show you the difference between the two. So first of all, when you have three points in survival, Massacrator says most of these guys use two or three points in survival. It gives you the extra 15% HP and it gives you the extra auto heal boost, faster activation and more power. Of course, you get access to deflector skin with one point, but you want more HP. HP is super important. Now, by using a lot of points in agility, you get one point of crit damage for each point you put in agility but you have access to all the movement skills, sprint, reload while sprinting, movement speed, and of course you get the grenades. By using three points in the combat, it unlocks the iron sight damage, then it unlocks the gunslinger, it's 50% extra damage with pistols, it can make a difference in some situations. When you have three points in combat, you have 15% extra accuracy. If you never use that, you will see the difference. Extra accuracy means your bullet will hit the target. So now what difference is it gonna make if you put these three points in combat or in agility? If you put the three points in agility, it will give you 12 and give you the sneak attack. When it's maxed out, it gives you an extra 20% damage when shooting the back of your enemy so in duels if your opponent run away from you and you hit the back you get tons of extra damage but if you put the extra three points in combat it will give you six points at six point you get the extra magazine cap magazine size is a big deal in pvp on top of that you will get the sparta kick sparta kick can give you a free kill sometimes when the battles get to close quarter, if you get your Sparta kick to activate, it's a 50% chance when it's maxed, your opponent will get knocked back and it will pretty much give you a free kill. So I will end this video with one of the most insane battles I've seen. Massacrator sent me some replays I want to share with you guys. In this one single battle, you will see most of the things we discussed today. The importance of a high magazine cap, the importance of having high health. You will see how the Sparta kick can give you some free kills. You will see how they use the grenades. You will see how they use deflector skin to counter the stunner. This replay also contains the last week's kill of the week by Massacrator. So today's video was all about the basic stuff, how to get started in PvP, how to get the right setup to start. Now you go and practice, learn the map, and hopefully I will get Massacrator to come back to the channel for more advanced tips. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and don't forget to subscribe for more Shadowgun Legends content. Oh.
The show must go on. Let's do this. Ready for action! Get my hands dirty. 